Unit 6, Searle Road, Cronulla. Unit 2, Bedroom Leak, is under this vicinity of the rooftop terrace. There's a couple of issues here. I suspect there's a waterproofing defect to the parapet wall. The parapet wall's getting saturated. The flashings aren't adequately sealed to the capping flashing. There's gaps there to the capping flashing. There's no adequate flashing or seal to the roof above the balcony below. There's also gaps to the perp ends of the brickwork that need repointing directly above the leak. There's gaps to all this brickwork from wind erosion and the flashing looks like it needs resealing. The water leak to unit four directly below unit six is related to this area over here. There's no gutters to the roof. The water flows in an uncontrolled fashion down this wall, causing mould and moss issues on the wall and cascading water directly into the expansion joint, which is delaminated and the corking needs resealing. There's also an expansion joint to unit six directly below that needs re-corking and sealing. And I'd try and re-seal these tiles in the first instance. So the first most pragmatic repair is to clean and seal those tiles to unit six directly below, re-cork the joint directly above the unit four water leak, re-cork this joint to unit six's wall, clean and seal this wall, re-seal the capping flashings, clean and seal this parapet wall. Long term, we'd like to see a gutter on this roof to dispose of the stormwater adequately instead of cascading in an uncontrolled fashion down to unit four, and I believe direct, directly below unit one, which is causing a lot of problems to unit one, second bedroom and main bedroom, the uncontrolled water cascading off the roof on the upper level. You can see on the parapet wall here above unit, above the second bedroom leaks to unit six, all the brickwork that needs repointing and sealing. You can see the gaps opening up to the brickwork and the cracks. You can see the corking needs recompletion. So I'd clean and seal this wall, repoint those joints, recomplete the polyurethane corking, and I'd monitor. Ideally, there should be a pressure seal or a overflashing put onto that flashing on the wall, and a gutter should be put on this half round roof to dispose of the stormwater long term.